Hey everyone, TBDF here for some Stellaris with the Grunt Man. Hello. The Grunt Man. <laughs> Hello. We're, Guess I'll just ready things. up then. We're doing things. Um, so for those of you who don't know what this game is, it's a big RTS grand strategy mix em up game with all the different things. So yeah, uh, things. I'm going to yeah, um, it's big, it's a space game, and it's fun. Um, so I'm just going to show them my species real quick. Okay, I so, will do the same. Uh, mine's a military quanta. Um, we're mi militarists and fanatic materialists. We're sedentary, we're pretty smart, and we're strong. How about you, team? Meanwhile, we've got the Space Don making his grand return to run the Space Mafia. We're thrifty and industrious, but because there's only one guy in the whole freaking thing, we're slow breeders. And we're sedentary as well, but we're plutocratic oligarchies. Mm-hmm. Except and, English. Uh, and now, because you're a fanatic spiritualist, what is what is the cult of the Space Dawn believe? The cult of the Space Dawn believes that anything can be achieved with the right amount of money. <laughs> I agree. Okay, so I'm gonna set us up so that we're right next to each other, or close to each other. We're clustered. Okay. So, yeah, this should be good. All right, starting new game, and we get to see these cool backgrounds. Crash, no, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sins of a solar empire. Okay, let's start. Okay, okay and now we have a auto-generated um, background to your species, so okay. uh, I'm going to read mine, and then you can read yours. In the okay. eons since the first primitive Zatel communities took shape in the dry canyons and mesa of Iktar Primus, our civilization has spread and prospered. Technological progress has been swift, but as our numbers increased, the civilian population grew increasingly restless. With our world on the brink of anarchy, the military stepped in to restore the rule of law. A new order was established to safeguard our nation from all threats, both external and internal. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the state of Iktar have finished development of the first warp drive. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. All right, I can see these are very copy-paste, but uh, in the eons since the first primitive Capo communities took shape in the archipelagos, oh, God. archipelagos and lagoons of Quadis. Fuck you. <laughs> our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outposts were founded across our world, trade flourished and tied the various nation states together until it became a single entity. Power rested with the merchant princes, the true architects of our achievements as a civilization. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the space mafia have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp as well. Oh great, let us begin. Good day. Okay, so first things first is uh, there's some pretty basic stuff that you need to know. So here's your main solar system with everything in there. Um, you can zoom in and out, obviously. Uh, by holding right click, you can turn around and get like different views. Oh good, it's, it's good controls then, okay. Mm -hmm. W, A, S, and D, move it around. E brings you to the galaxy view. Ooh. And so this allows you to zoom out and see the whole galaxy. now. I'm on the eastern side. Are you there too? I am lower, kind of lower eastern, very close to the center. Um, are you by the Picarni's Drift? Picares, rather. <laughs> it's here. Actually, I can just look at your fucking screen. Yeah, yeah you are. You are right by. Yeah, you're <laughs> at the drift. Okay. All right. I'm up to the t upper right of you, if you see that there's a small name up there, and it says um, Shig Shigger Nebula, that's where yeah. I am. Yeah, okay. So, so there's probably going to be one or two AI in between us, so we can probably just split him up and kill him. <gasps> Murder chopper! Okay, so uh, you go back in your main system by just uh, left-clicking on it. So you have multiple ships to start with. You have uh, the one that has, like, um, the Atom. Uh, that's your science ship. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this guy uh, survey our system. So if you uh, press E while still having him uh, selected, uh, you go out into the galaxy view. You mm. right click on your system and you click survey system. And automatically this guy will go and survey your whole system, find out what's on these planets, um, what's not there, stuff like that. Um, so that's okay. pretty important. Um, you have your small fleet. It has a power of 75 that's really low 
but uh, it's your main defense fleet for the start of the game. You'll notice the thing that has 413 for you. Yeah. That is our spaceport. Uh, that's how we build all our different uh, our ships and all that. Ooh. So if you notice, it automatically starts with a certain type of um, defense mechanism. And then you'll notice that there's a little plus that allows you to build more stuff on there. So like, for instance, you could build, um, once you research it, like Corvette shipyards, which will make Corvettes be built faster and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and you unlock the other modules by upgrading them. Um, now, click on your home world. Uh, you'll first be greeted with the screen that'll say, like, your home world, and then it'll have a little background. You can see its resource output, its number of populations, its habitability, all that. And your current governor. Oh, my governor fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has a plus 30% ethics divergence. I've oh a, my god, he's awful! I've got a minus 20%. What the fuck? Did you get goobied? I got goob- I mean, he has like the happiness and the construction time stuff. Fucking leave. Get out- no! <laughs> you just got rid of him, didn't you? I'm fire- fire- hold on, dude. Is this how you- no, that's dismiss. Um... How do I unassign you? How do I actually unassign you? Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking fire him. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Actually, that probably wasn't a good idea. Ah, well. Okay, also, we're, we're doing mods. Uh, these mods let us colonize uh, other planets uh, that you normally can't, so like these uh, molten lava worlds. Anyway, back here. Uh, you'll notice that you have your surface right next to your planetary summary. Yep. Okay, this is where you can see all your pops. So you'll notice each of them are doing certain things. The one with the little energy symbol is your cash. Uh, the mineral thing, which looks like a diamond, uh, that's your minerals. Okay. And the apple is your food. Now you'll notice that on there, there's these little um, tile blockers. You know, they look like um, it's the black and yellow. Yeah. So these things are areas that you should probably clear so your population can grow. Uh, they serve absolutely no purpose because nobody's working that tile. So you'd actually want to clear it. Okay. Um, but we don't. We have. We obviously don't have enough money right now, so we probably shouldn't bother with it. But shouldn't clear it. Okay. Yeah, not now. But like when when your population begins to uh, expand, you'll actually want to. Okay. Now, um, you currently have pops that aren't doing anything, so you'll notice. Um, it looks like one of your pops at the bottom uh, has one uh, apple. Yeah. And he's not working anything because there's nothing in the background. So if you click on that pop, you'll see its terrain details, and then you'll see the word build. Click mm. on that. These are all the different things that you can have that pop work on. So you oh, can wow. have do a hydroponics farm, mineral silo, mining network, power plant, basic science lab, all that. Um, what should be stated is, so like, you know how obviously you're collecting food? Yeah. Uh, if you were to instead build a uh, mining network, it will suppress that food, so you won't actually be collecting that food. Okay, so I should go with the hydroponics farm. Yeah. Yay! The only time you really don't want to deal with like the hydroponics farm and stuff like that when you're was when you're basically already um, built up, you know, like sure. your population's full, so you don't need to bother with it anymore. Um, next thing you'll notice is uh, so that's basically how this works. Over time, your pops will grow there. Um, you'll notice a pop growing is like they're semi-transparent. Yeah, they're not growing right now for you. Okay. But once we unpause, they will be. Okay. So, um, anyway. Uh, I also like the name of your sh uh, your fleet, by the way. <laughs> the first murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. It fits in the space done uh, well. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is your armies tab um, right next to surface. Mm -hmm. These are basically how you build your armies and are able to invade planets. So, um, right now I have a defensive army. Defensive armies can't move from this place, but they defend the planet. If you click recruit, we currently only have two types of uh, armies. We can build an assault army. These are the armies that we use to assault other planets. Okay. And then more defensive armies. So we want these, basically. Yeah, but we don't want to bother with them now until we actually have a threat because um, upkeep costs and all that. Right, yeah. Yeah, um, currently, um, and you'll notice that under there you'll see orbital bombardment. So we have different types. We have uh, light, limited, and full. Um, basically, th you shouldn't really bother with that unless you're um, attacking another planet. The only time you really want to change it from light to like limited or full bombardment 
uh, is essentially when you're invading the planet, but both of your forces are evenly matched, so you hmm. want a little bit more help uh, with your military and all that. Okay. Okay. Um, now that we're done there, um, now if you look at the top left, you'll see your little um, faction emblem. Yeah. Okay, click on that. Now Government. Here is your... Okay, hold on. I need to fucking shut this window. Um, <laughs> now you'll notice that you have different... Um, tabs here that are pretty important so uh government uh this will show you your leader right now i have archon lytas mark mac i guess <laughs> okay and uh <laughs> executive space dog executive uh and you'll see your ruler's traits and all that oh okay. my guy's gonna die soon that's nice <laughs> and you can see your current empire uh effects and all that Next thing is your budget. You really don't need to bother looking at the budget until, like, you have a deficit. Okay. Um, but this will just tell you your income and what's happening there. And uh, your current economic effects. So my ships cost less and my spaceport uh, modules cost less. Hmm, okay. Next thing you have is the policies tab. Now, this is pretty in-depth and it grows as the game increases. Jesus, yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so, war economy. You really don't want to bother with a war economy. Uh, changing that policy unless you're getting fucked by an external force because basically changing the war economy will so uh, the dynamic economy like let's just say I'm invading you with a huge fleet and you're losing battle after battle after battle oh apparently Lord wants to have a hot join but he won't be able to join as his species oh uh, I don't think motherfucker <laughs> is, is Lord no, what we could do is, if he really wants to, we could finish the tutorial, then we can start an actual okay. thing. Okay. Uh, I'll just tell him in a minute. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I guess I don't need to record this then. No, 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 no. We can just do this. And just so we can show everyone how to do it. You but know I'm what I'm saying? Hit no, I'm kidding. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, anyway, back to the dynamic war economy. Uh, so if I'm beating your ass everywhere uh, the dynamic war economy will kick in and your pops will begin to work faster and faster for your empire and be able to help you uh, win the war like so your ships will cost considerably less uh, there'll be less upkeep and all that uh, slavery pretty self-explanatory purge <laughs> pretty self-explanatory orbital bombardment pretty self-explanatory migration now this this is very Um, how should I say it? It's very kind of, um, mushy mushy. Uh, you really shouldn't care about this. Um, with the free migration, uh, until you have a big empire, because Pops will actually leave your empire. Hmm. Um, if you have free migration on with another empire, and so it'll be a pain in the ass. Resettlement, this will for- oh, hold on. There goes the grunt man, everyone. Settlement. This policy controls whether or not we are allowed to forcibly relocate pops between planets. Voting rights. The process of appointing a ruler can take on many forms, where democratic vote is but one possible approach. But we're the space dawn, so we've got elitism, because uh, money and golden god cards. Leadership. All beings may not be equally fit for leadership, and we must decide who should be allowed to progress through the ranks. Hmm. Okay. I suppose I should leave that as my primary species. And first contact protocol is peaceful. Alright. Oh, Sorry about that, team. Okay. I went through the last four while you were gone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, team went through all that. All right, so, and you saw first contact protocol and all that. Yeah. Uh, so, edicts, these will cost influence, okay. which is at the top. That's another sort of um, thing you have. Yeah, like a currency, uh, but not really a currency. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you need influence to maintain frontier outposts, which increase your border, and uh, you'll need to use it during elections. So, it's not really a big, uh, big problem. Uh, and then all these other ones are pretty self-explanatory by what they do. Then next to that is your demographics. This will just give you some interesting information about your empire, all the populations you have. So like right now, my species is 100% of my, my population and all that. 
Okay. Okay. Um, contacts. Uh, this will just show you all the empires that, and uh, other species that you meet. I uh, haven't met anyone. <laughs> oh shit! Actually, I skipped one. Uh, sorry. Um, so right next to your uh, emblem, uh, there'll be empire. Yeah. These can just see all your leaders okay. that you can buy. Uh, next to that is planets. Um, uh, which will show you your planets and what they do and your sectors and all that. Far right is factions now. These become a problem if you're invading like other empires and other factions are like, oh, we're stupid and we want to fucking revolt against you. And you're like, fuck you. And so <laughs> you can suppress those factions and their opinions here. Hmm. Okay. So next to that is contacts. I already talked about that. Yeah. Then you have your ship designer. <gasps> and so you get to choose what your ship has and its little core and its uh, reactors and its stuff. So, yeah. Jeez, okay. Each of these, yeah, it's pretty, pretty <laughs> fucking in depth. And um, at the at the right hand side, you'll see its cost, its build time, its maintenance, and you can see its ship stats, the power. Um, you always want your power to be zero or above, or you won't be able to build the ship. Okay. Um, armor, shields, evasion, speed, damage, and special values. I really don't know what that is. Oh, sensor range. Okay. And so obviously you can change other ships and you can build your own design and upgrade that design and all that. Hmm. Uh, next to ship designer, it's technology. These are different techs that you can get. Um, it, it's semi randomized, which techs you start out with. Okay. So um, some uh, techs do require other techs, but what you start out with um, is kind of randomized. I think there are some that aren't randomized at the start, yeah, I think, like, uh, every time under society research, you get a colony ship. Okay. Um, but, yeah. And you can see your research text at the top and all that. Okay. Um, and then at the top, you can see uh, your output for society research and all that. And space bar lets you do stuff faster. And, oh. and you can go slower and all that. So... That's that's it. Huh. That's the very bare bones basics. Great, so, time to lose. <laughs> uh, that time to go with Lord. Okay. So here's where you'll see a cut. <gasps> We're back. Window chopper. Hey. I'm done napping. Okay. Adapt. Yeah. Alright. All right. Okay, so where are you where are you guys? Oh. Uh, let's see. Here. I'm right near the galactic center towards the um up. I'm, I'm up and towards the galactic center. Okay. I am also up and toward the center. Uh, and I am directly to the far right. Ooh. Like straight across. They did not... Weird. The cluster sucks. Okay, team. Um, yeah. plus players are together. you are you right by the Gamus Vale or the Crossroads Nebula? Yeah, I'm literally right next to Crossroads. On the left or right of it? On, I am on the from crossroads go down and left and I'm right there dude I am literally like two jumps away from you fantastic okay. and I am like slightly north and to the right of the twin fangs okay. nebula alright we got that's, this it, that's okay that's quite I, a distance I showed team the basics so team um you remember how to make your uh science ship do its thing I'm going to make my science ship do its thing by doing the survey of systems. Hey guys, my fucking planet governor doesn't suck now. He's <laughs> actually really so, good. Holy crap. There are four. Oh, you know, I, I forgot that you got this new colonized thing. For a second, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I have four other, five, six, eight other planets. I'm like, oh, right. That colonized thing for late game. Mm -hmm. How do you fucking call it uh, gas Ron, giant? I have a negative happiness now. You do? It's happening. Um, <laughs> why do you have negative happiness? Okay, already? all right, all right. So, Lord, that's what this mod does. Um, it allows us to colonize um other planet types that we normally can't. So basically, you have to use robots to go there first. Yeah, or you terraform late game. Yeah, I don't think it allows you to terraform gas. <laughs> <laughs> just like you could you could colonize a gas jet like I mean what? you I mean I guess you could have um cloud city yeah all right so teams did you look at your techs 
Am I what? Your techs? Yeah, <gasps> solar panels. I've got uh, my colony ship coming. Glorious. I'm going physics lab, ion thruster, and colony ship. I'm gonna have to expand towards right, you guys. You guys ready to, um... How many of these happen at one time? The researches. Oh, they all go at once. Oh, they all oh, go yeah, at so once. Oh. Yeah, so the should, the only have... will pause if you do a situation uh, yeah. research that affects Ooh, it. Ooh, fusion missiles, team. Get those fusion missiles. And the fusion reactor. Those are good. Okay. You got a, you got a good roll. All right. That wasn't too bad. I'm getting my ion thruster, which is pretty good. Okay. All right, ready to unpause? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, might as well. If we're going to die, we might as well die in style. Die. <laughs> I fast. Oh, team, you're a moon. That's cool. I have a moon. That's nice. I don't. I have rings, though. Oh, come on. That's no Dude, moon. I'm, I'm just right next to my fucking home star. Also, like, I'm at least on the screen. I'm like an inch away from an asteroid belt. It's like the closest I've seen a planet. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this things thing. before. Like, there's an asteroid right next to it. Bigger than my planet in my the situation is updated. updated. Okay. We've encountered the Favalian. The what? Favalian. They've been flagged as alpha aliens. Oh, yeah. Go go to, um, okay. Let me pause. Fuck the game. All right. Go to contacts. That was at the top left. Yep. Or no, not contacts. Situation log. Okay. Uh, and then on there, it'll say uh, investigate alpha aliens. Mm hmm. Um, click on that and then research. Research, okay. All right. What else was I going to do? I was going to say something about, uh, to you. Are you going to tell me how to oh, make money? No, okay. your, 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 um, your military ships have them in orbit around your um, home planet because then you'll be making more money. Because what, what? Uh, you have them orbit. Yeah, just like uh, click on them and then oh, right click on your home world. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I noticed that you were moving them around and you don't want to do that. Okay. At least now. Because, yeah, look, you're, you're income. Oh, okay. Yeah. You really don't want to move them around early game. Here I go. No. <laughs> you can't buy me hot dog, man. No, okay. Hot dog? I don't know. Well, so even though I changed the FTL type, it kept it. Oh, so you're, like still, a, you're still. You're I'm, I'm, I'm all the way far away, and I have wormhole travel. That. Really God sucks. dang it! That this game. Sucks. That really sucks. Ooh, yay! The mining station's done. Okay, let's go get us some more research. That's seventy-five. Oh, it's sixty-seven for wormhole. Mining on that walk. Hey, what's your uh, home sun called, team? Uh, Fashaw? Is that what this is? Oh no! Oh, my like star, uh, Capone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you couldn't do Quadus? No, I didn't want to. The oh. Quadus is the planet. But you could do Quadus. Oh. Up. Oh. Nightmare yeah. apparently just saw an infomercial for a light of your toilet. Oh, that's that's Special worth it. Project complete. I see a lot of use for that. Space oh, amoeba. Fuck them. <laughs> Situation log updated. Space amoeba. Suck. Why did they not? Why did they not clump us together? That's, I'm just confused about that. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's. Well, see, I expected it to be like this if. The map was larger, but it's not, so I, I, I don't know. Because you're supposed to clump players together. Yeah, so... Mm. Uh, so team, once you're, um... Tell me when, um... Oh shit, uh, should I do that? Fuck it, if I die, I die. Um... Beta what aliens. Uh, team, what was I gonna fucking say? Oh, when, um, tell me when your um, science ship says it's done surveying. Okay. Oh, it's it's done. Oh yeah. So click on your science ship and then press E and then go to another star system. 
so they can go there too and see if there's any other habitable complete. planets there. Okay. Oh, dude, I really hope I don't die here. Please don't die. It's gonna happen. Oh, okay. Issue to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race. Ooh. Scientist is skill three higher. He doesn't have that. Oh, shit. What? Can, can you not? Oh, I can. Um, 81? Yeah, that's Special good. Special project complete. Uh, you can do that. That'll be good. Uh, are you having your, um... Uh, hold on. I'm pausing for team. Oh. Team, are you having your, um... Your construction ship uh, build mining outposts? No, how do I do that? All right, click on your con um, construction ship. This is the wrench thing? Yeah. Okay. And then have him go over a planet. You, okay, so you, you see how your gas giant, uh, Luricci's nest, yeah. has uh, three energy underneath it? Okay, so click on that with your colony sh or construction ship and right click, and then it'll say construct mining outpost. Oh, okay. Mining station? Mining station. Okay. Um, and you can queue that up by holding shift and going to other places. So you can have him do multiple at once. So okay. Once yeah. All right. Um, hmm. Nothing else has an energy. Does it matter, though? What do you mean? Like, do I build something else for... Make words with your lips, team. <laughs> like, this, this thing that has a diamond on it instead of the energy, do I build something other than a mining station? No, you have to build a mining station. I just build mining stations, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It just, uh, mining stations cost one energy, so... Yeah, you shouldn't... We're not, well, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Of... Yeah, so just be, like, a little bit wary. Build, like, three? Mmm! Oh, that sucks. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, shit. Look at this toxic world. Can't wait to go colonize those. <laughs> this entire system has nothing but toxic worlds and a barren world. Oh, my God. That sucks. Mm. Give me an arid world. Give me an arid world. Peter has gained a level. Special project complete. Tianki. Oh, that's him. Until later we can colonize just normal planets and even terraform them, but it's just like, now I can't look out for actual col- It's harder to find the actual colonized world. Colon <laughs> it'll show up the world. It'll show up as yeah. green first, if it does. But yeah, but then there's the other- Yay, places. arid world! Yay. Oh. I'm Ocean, I think. Team is too. I'm the only ocean around here, Dark Four. The ocean tropical. Uh... Ocean. I was considering yeah. going tropical. But are you a space amoeba? <laughs> no, I'm a space mafia bird samurai ocean planet whatever the fluid. There's a penguin bird like creature. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> every there's time, like okay, space birds. Lord, every time I've met them, they have been on a desert planet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally don't understand how that works. There, go here. I guess I could have had a worse draw. Mm -hmm. And had no colonizable planets near me. Or be me. Or or be Lord. I mean, that was pretty bad too. Shoot shoot me <laughs> in the far distance and then not register that I uh, changed my updates type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really Luckily I played around oh with it so I know how to Mine use it. Minus 13% happiness team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what that's what I was saying, man. <laughs> How did you get that? That's his planetary governor. Dude, oh. my last one had plus 20% or whatever ethics divergence on my home world. <laughs> What's my, mine's a plus two happiness. Anomaly, what do I do about that? Construction time, oh, clear uh, you have anomaly? Okay, yeah. what's your risk? Uh, you scale your risk 22%. Oh. Mm. I I would say 22 and lower is uh, pretty yeah. much okay. Yeah, I would say research it. Research it? Okay. Anything higher, like 25 and up, it's yeah, very Yeah, yeah. I would... I think you're fine with that 22%. Oh, look, I found another anomaly with 12%. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Grunt, did, have you ever uh, finished the, like, find the the something league? No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I've gotten four of them before yeah, I, uh, I have finished the game. Yeah, I have two. I've gotten four out of eight. 
Really? Yeah. I had to get six. Or it was four out of six. It was one in the two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my game, my normal game right now is very stagnant. Um, because, um, I forget what it was called. Hey, DJ. Oh, failure. Oh, that sucks. At least you didn't die. Ooh. All right. Uh, next time we do stuff. What?